And welcome back to the Blair Haters. Oh my god, I battle already! <laughs> <laughs> was that your mating call? It was. That's how I get all the ladies. Oh, I'm sure. Speaking of ladies, when we last left off, we were talking about senior projects. <laughs> Indeed we were, uh, and you wanted to bang that chick, but you were like, No, oh, I can't tell you on the social network thing because there's no fucking... That was you. That's how your story went. Yeah, I don't know about <laughs> that. <laughs> Pretty sure. Pretty sure. What if she, like, comes across that video one day and, like, figures out, you know, who it was, and it's like, oh, if only I knew <laughs> <laughs> the mutual feelings. Uh, I, I feel like that's how it works out in everyone's head. They're like, I'm sure the other person also likes me, but they also just don't, they feel like it's not going to work out if like they come up and tell me like I won't like them back. But in reality, it's like, no, you ugly. Fuck you. <laughs> so, I don't know. Have you seen this beautiful face? <laughs> the battle's just happening left and right. We're not commentating on them at all. It's gonna, whoa, be, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's gonna be the loneliest rocket ever down there. Like, how often do, do this, like, anybody face them? I think you're the only one. You and you alone. That All Grimer right. looks pretty mischievous. It has, like, his great face on. <laughs> and no thumbs, either. <laughs> I can follow your buttocks without thumbs. <laughs> And look, I'm just like, so it has a right face on. Its first attack was disabled. <laughs> like, I'm just throwing this out there. Can't let you do that, also, Brown. <laughs> Can't let you fight back and call the police, also, Brown. <sighs> and then it uses pound? Dude, this is like, what the other is. There is no way around that, like, that is definitely the sap for rape joke. I'm not gonna lie, there's no way I would've thought of that until, like, just now, when you talked about it. <laughs> what's, what's Voltorb gonna do? He also looks- he's pretty angry looking, Voltorb. He screeches at you. How does he screech at me? He has no mouth. Well, apparently he found a way. That's all he does, he just screeches. You're assuming it's a male, you fucking sexist? Uh, it's a ball. Yeah. Ergo, clearly a dude. Fact. Coffin just looks high as fuck. He doesn't know what's going on, and like, <laughs> now he's blowing his smoke in your face, trying to get you all, like, under the influence of it. And you're like, no, no. stop it, Corona chap! Well, I can't really blame him. He does look pretty happy from it. He does. He's trying to share the, uh... You know, all of... All of the... All of the smoke. There we go. <laughs> Words. Things. Stuff. Ideas. They're there. Man, my Pikachu is awfully polite, you know, having been an asshole to me whenever it first met me. <laughs> oh yeah, but here's a super nerd that you seem to be really nice to. Where did that shit come from? You were essentially out, out of the uh, the cave. You're like, no, no, we're going back. Well, yeah, because we still have the Team Rocket one. We still we have we have that fight to do, but we are doing that by the end of this episode. I promise you. Are we? Yeah. I feel like the Nurse Joy bowing like animation is probably the most like. The most complex out of all the animations that they do for like the people in the area. Yep. Because you figure walking, you're moving very few things, and it's like even like just the 
what's the word I'm looking for? Like, the perspective of it is, like, very basic. Yeah. Like, everything is just moving, like, forwards and backwards. But a bow, I mean, you know, you have to account for, like, that change in perspective. Because, like, her head's bowing down. Right. Yeah. Need some more potions. I need to spend all of my monies on potions. Well, I mean, that really is a smarter thing to do, because, like, if you die, you lose half your money. I guess early on, potions are handy. I mean, you know, if your Pokemon are just a bunch of little bitches! <laughs> But I mean, you know, you know, that's what I, what I... <laughs> I've been whooping ass this whole time. I don't know what you're talking mm -hmm. about. And yet you had to go back to heal your Pokemon and friggin' get some potions. Listen, I am a loving trainer. I love my my horrible, super-powered, genetically mutated animals very much. I'm sure you do, nasty. What are you, a Pokephile? I love rogue Pokemon. That's <laughs> oh, what you were trying to do. Get it right. There you go. That's your call. Yep. That's my main end call. But yeah, speaking of senior projects, what did you have to do for yours? Or I should say, what did you choose to do for yours, sir? Oh, right. Uh, my senior project... Um, now that we're off the topic of banging for some reason. I know, the, the, the audience is disappointed, they're all leaving. Um, but no, I was supposed to do a senior project sort of thing, got up, right, right? Yeah. But as opposed to actually doing a senior project, I went down to a food bank and was like, hey, I'll build you guys a website. Which I did. I did build them the site. But, like, that one didn't take as long as my school wanted the senior project to take. But, uh, the food bank was willing to, like, lie for me because they were getting a website out of it. <laughs> Aww. You're doing charity for them, so they do charity for you. Indeed. So that's, that's mutually beneficial. That's how it should be. None of this. I'll do this work for free. It's like, that's not American. Anyways. But, so... I designed the website, it's pretty basic, because at that point I only really knew, like, HTML, so I didn't have, like, any, like, CSS, I didn't have JavaScript, so it was essentially, like, static web pages that displayed information, and that was about it, which is, which is sad, it's a sad sight. <laughs> and then, they wanted me afterwards to, like, launch the site for them. And I never did. So essentially, I developed a site, showed it to them, they liked it, but I never launched it. And I got away with it as a senior project. <laughs> and it didn't take very long. <laughs> Aww, we both half-assed our projects. That's the only way to do it. It's like, look, I get the fact that like the senior project is supposed to be this like real big important thing for you. As like a senior, like, oh, look, I'm gonna move back to the community. But no, it's like, fuck that shit. Like, A, I have better things to do, and B, why should I have to freaking do it in the first place? Like, freaking, it should be a volunteer basis, you want to do something like that, go for it. Otherwise, it should be a punishment, you have to do this, <laughs> because you've done something wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Ergo, I shouldn't have to do a project. And Agro has better things to do, like ogle his classmates, like mentioned in the previous episode. Indeed. I mean, we all did it. I mean, that's just the way it is. Oh, but yeah. Yeah, as we clarified. No one was there to ogle me, though. Oh. And if you've ever seen me, I, I assure you, you, you see their point of view. The, the, you don't want to ogle this. I don't know, I might have ogled that. <sighs> You'd ogle... Just about anything. I've seen you argue with you, dude. Okay? Mm, that Oreo case, what? <laughs> My point exactly. Double stuff me, baby. No! And here is why I made the episode extra long. I wouldn't really say extra long. I mean, like, 14 minutes and some change isn't too long. It's a little extra long for, you know, one of these episodes. 
I guess for yours. Yeah. Oh no! An Ekans! Thank goodness you have racist Pokémon! You only interpret them as racist. <laughs> you name them based solely on, like, their color. So? It's kinda racist. Not really. I didn't say, hey, yellow guy is superior to red guy. You don't have to, the fact that you're basing their name solely off the color of their skin. It's kinda racist. Nah, it's only racist if I prefer one to the other, and I'm I'm kind of preferring one that isn't being poisoned right now, so I guess in that context it might be slightly racist, but you're still kinda pushing it. What's what I do? I push boundaries. Oh my. Indeed. Look at you being all poisoned. What a bitch. <laughs> But, um, back to the, uh, the, the website thing you did. I mean, I gotta, I gotta say, like, the whole premise, though, of developing a food bank website is a little absurd if you think about it. Because it's like, here, this is a place where you, you know, you can get food because you can't even afford that. But yet, we expect you to be able to view a website of ours because you can't afford an internet. Well, you can go to, like... Your local library and stuff, and they have internet for free. You can see these. If you can't eat, how big of a priority is the library going to be to you? Pretty big. Like, especially if you have, like, children, like, they have school projects. And, like, if you want to do research, which, I mean, most school projects require nowadays, you either need to go check out some books, library, or go look things up online. Also, library. Because apparently you can't afford the internet. Wait, why would you have to do that, do that if, you, if they're your kids' projects? I mean, like, depending on the age of the kid, you gotta go. I mean, you, I mean, you gotta drop them off or, like, supervise them or, or something, like, depending on how old they are. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, but libraries are they're fun places to hang out. They got computers, they got books. I'm nerdy. <laughs> But I mean, all in all, I mean, I think they eventually got someone else to design, like, an actual site that does things for them and stuff. They probably had to pay for it, though, and they're probably... They're probably a little little pissed off that I, I kind of <laughs> cheated them. I cheated both them and the school out oh. of, like, doing the project. Oh my god, we're, you're, like, fucking evil now that we think about it, because you kind of <laughs> fucked the charity over a little bit. A little bit. But you know what? I was getting fucked over. So, you know, I mean, I feel like what goes around comes around. You fuck me over, I fuck everyone over. <laughs> I'm spreading the wealth. I'm sure all those people who can't even afford to have food in the first place are so angry about it. <laughs> Wait. You know, that's just the way things go, okay? I mean, this was several years ago. I'm sure they've gotten over. I don't think, you know, they even remember me at this point. So, you know. I don't know. What if right now they're plotting vengeance against you and they're and they're plotting one day they will fuck you over in some in some way that you can possibly imagine? Well, it sounds like it's not a charity that I wanted to back anyways. It's a very evil and vindictive. But yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and uh, like our social networking if you enjoy our our let's playing and uh, so and uh, horrible stories. Yay! Till next time. <laughs>